If I told you that Gento era started way before 2023, would you believe me? This video was taken more than a year ago on SB19's legendary comeback in the Wish Bus. You will realize it when you see it. In a world where choices and chances collide, a concept emerges. It's captivating and mysterious. Fate. 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 This is a journey that transcends the boundaries of ordinary existence, challenging our perceptions and igniting our curiosity. Prepare to question, marvel, and discover the forces that shaped their lives. Were they just mere pawns in the grand scheme of things? Or did they, against all odds, became masters of their own destinies? Back in SB19's training days, they loved listening to OPM songs during their breaks and stretching sessions. Most of them are songs from band and band. They really looked up to them because of their music. They were simply just humble fans of an already established Filipino band. And in 2019 when they were still trying to make a name for themselves, something quite unexpected happened. Hello everyone, we're here with the band! Hello. If you haven't noticed, they really tried their best to appear calm and professional as they met their idols. But after they parted ways and entered their vehicle, SB19 pretty much lost it and became fanboys themselves, which was quite a wholesome sight. Hey, we met Ben and Ben, bro! Yeah, successful performance and Ben and Ben! Pagpasok kami ng sasakyan, tapos di lang lumabas sa sasakyan nila yung Ben and Ben. Tapos, lumalapit sila sa mga nais, papicture tayo, papicture tayo! What a coincidence! Mami, sobrang saya ako, tumatalon talaga ako, saya. So, pagka nag-connect tayo Ben and Ben, SB19, so B19! B19! SB19! And two years later, Man, who would have thought that wishful thinking would actually turn into reality? Crazy stuff for sure, but not as crazy as this one. In 2021, SB19 were asked about their plans after the Pagsibol EP, and this was their answer. Gusto po namin magkaroon ng parang katul po sa ibang basa na magkaroon talaga ng music show na talagang solely yung mga grupo na nagsasama-sama pinapromote yung mga ngayong bagay. Kasi dun makikita, dun mapapanood din ng mga ibang um, audiences from all over the world yung talent ng Filipinos. So, hopefully next year makasatuparan yung <laughs> this interview wasn't released to the public until the next year because I think the media didn't believe them. Maybe they thought it was impossible to unite all artists in the P-pop scene because it is known to be very competitive. Even fandoms go to war from time to time, and the sheer scale of logistics alone to get everyone on board could make most organizers quit their job. But hey, despite the uncertainty, they managed to pull it off. How did they do it? Well, maybe SB19 were just so determined to prove that P-pop is not a competition. It's a community. That historic event happened in Araneta Coliseum, a stage that, back in the day, SB19 could only dream of. At the time, they could only joke about it. But they had no idea that it would actually become their home stage. What's up, Araneta? At this point, you probably recognize a pattern already. When SB19 makes a prediction, they likely come true. 
which is pretty crazy to be honest. But what's beyond crazy is when it reaches the level of insanity. You see, when they were asked to wear a blindfold on the Halloween of 2019, Pablo said this. And two years later, so they were actually blindfolded for more than two years? <laughs> anyway, when SB19 entered the Pinoy Big Brother house, they easily became one of the most entertaining guests the show has ever had and gave birth to some very interesting interactions. electronic <laughs> And I was crying on the staircase, begging you, please don't go. And I said, wala ka man ngayon sa aking piling Nasasaktan mo na puso at damdamin Mulit muli sa'yo na ah, aminin Ika'y mahain pa rin At kung sakali na muling magkita At maraman na mayroon pang pag-asa Mulit muli sa'yo na ah, aminin Puso na, puso ang magpasya Ako ay isang imong Adarna Napagaling ko ang hari Dahil dito Yep, typical SB19 antics right there Now if you think that prediction was insane Then I have something more insane coming up Holy sh**, this is insane Max, yeah, quiet, I'm sorry when Josh celebrated his birthday back in 2020, SB19 members surprised him with a mysterious guest. And this mysterious guest apparently can read minds. He told Josh to ask him anything about his future and this was his question. Ano gusto mo malaman about your future sa Easy Plot? Uh, will I be a professional esports player? Here's the answer. I hope you have the time to be an esports player in the future when SB19 goes international. <laughs> now let me just emphasize yung sagot ko. I hope you have the time to be an esports player, a professional esports player for that matter. You're gonna be a semi professional esports player. Right? But I hope you find the time when SB19 goes international. Oh. 
So not only did Josh became a pro esports player, but SB19 also went international by entering the Billboard charts and having success with their first ever world tour while proudly representing their country. I know you make the Philippines proud, but you make all of us proud. Thank you so, Thank you so much. And congratulations. If we turn back time and ask random people, most of them might not even believe it would happen. I don't believe in superstitions. And this created one of the most memorable moments, especially for their international fans. When SB19 were just about to wrap up the concert in San Francisco, this suddenly happened. Responsibility and we will do our best 
to inspire people and motivate people. And together we will attain our goals together. So I'm just really blessed and happy that we have you guys. Uh, we're so thankful. From the beginning and up until now, you have been, you know, uh, unconditionally supporting us. And we know that this is just uh, the start. Ah, I love you too. I love her. I love you also. Um, words can express what I feel right now. But, uh, I'm really, really overwhelmed and my heart is so full. Ah, marami marami salamat po sa ito. Thank you guys so much for this. Change our lives. Alam niyo, before, it was just our dream actually to come here. So do not do it in the Philippines, but you guys, we're always there. Thank you, Olaf. We couldn't thank you, Olaf. You guys made us stronger. Thank you, thank you. Yo, not gonna lie, that was a tiny bit emotional. Because, you know, SB19 started from nothing. They were once very young, but they dared themselves to dream. You may call it fate, prediction, or manifestation. But besides that, they also put in the work by practicing more than everybody, improving more than everybody, and sacrificing more than everybody. So this time, I'll let you decide the conclusion of this video. Is SB19 really predetermined? Or do they possess the power to shape their own destiny? All the makeup. You guys, I'm not a big fan. Something about it felt a little inauthentic to me. I just felt like they were trying really, really hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you heard those boys saying the first thing you're gonna go is hit them jackets? So, anong feeling pag binabalikan yung mga times na yun na ang daming people na nagda-doubt? Ahuyo kayo ngayon. <laughs>